So with the new 2018 Jeep JL coming out, um, I really wanted to not do a, a bolt-on kit or, or anything like that. I, I wanted to do something that was a little bit more race inspired since that's what I do, you know, on the day to day. That's my job. I, you know, we love doing race cars and that type of stuff. So we went to Jimmy's 4x4, who's always built all our race chassis and done all our race car stuff and told him, you know, here's what I want to do with this JL. I, you know, I, I want to go with, with a lot of, you know, suspension travel, want to do coilovers, um, don't want to do a standard bolt in axle. I want to take some fabricated spider track stuff. So for the axles, we took a four inch uh, heat treated chromoly spider tracks axle housing with their fabricated knuckles uh, and, and used a, a 40 spline Gearworks high pinion third member, uh, 40 spline ARB and uh, 538 high pinion US gears. So, um, and this one actually even has a, a prototype curvy gear um, that's got a deeper gear cut that we're testing. <clears throat> So for suspension, we're running a 14-inch King IBP coilover. Um, it's all custom uh, aluminum link suspension, four link in the rear, three link in the front. Uh, we kept all the drivetrain pretty much stock. Uh, at some point, we'll probably end up swapping motors and doing that type of stuff, but for right now, it's got the stock 3.6 in it with eight-speed transmission and the stock Rubicon transfer case. Uh, what, all we did was swap in a, a 1350 yoke onto the transfer case and, and run a 1350 JE reel drive shaft. Everything's integrated into the Jeep stuff. We don't have any uh, lights on on our dash or anything like that. Everything's working really well together. Uh, but you know, Jimmy's 404 just really killed it on the build with this. They built all the fenders, built the bumpers. You know, everything was fabricated in house. Nothing's you know gonna gonna be a bolt on suspension kit or, or bumpers or that type of stuff. Um, you know, everything's all one off race car stuff at this point. But uh, you know, really happy with it, the way it turned out. So uh, Nitto has their 40 inch uh, DOT tire that's, that's you know, kind of a toned down version for the highway that, uh, that, that we run on the race cars. And so you know, we wanted to make sure that we were running as big a tire as, as available um, with, the, with a good KMC beadlock wheels. I've been running Nitto tires since uh, 2013. Uh, the tires, are, they just work amazing. It's, it's the best tire out there that for all around performance. You know, I have a lot of confidence in it. We came all the way out here to JLX without a spare tire because I knew I wasn't gonna have to worry about having to change tires out here. You know, uh, you just, you have a lot of confidence in the tire that it's gonna perform well and, and uh, get you home at the end of the day. The thing that I love about the JL is it's so multi-purpose. You know, you can you can run the toughest trails in Moab with it, but then you can jump in and send your wife to the to the supermarket to go get groceries. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great multi-purpose vehicle does everything, you know, maybe not amazingly, but does everything well. Um, that, that's what I really love about Jeeps. This is my family wheeling rig. This is what we go to Moab in, um, run the Rubicon, do all the JLX stuff. That's, that's what I love to do on the weekends and, and with my spare time with my family.